Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Again MRI. And this is a 35-year-old female. The clinical history stated that she had a right pelvic cyst follow-up, but there was no original report, no other clinical information. And we see here on this sagittal T2 sequence that she definitely has something wrong in the pelvis. This is her uterus is diffusely enlarged, diffusely infiltrated. The whole anterior myometrium, here's the endometrial stripe. The whole anterior endometrium is diffusely thickened and very uniform, and it's about symmetric with the posterior. So this is a diffuse infiltrative process, classic for adenomyosis. And this is the diffuse form. You can have um, asymmetrical forms where the, just the back or just the front are infiltrated. I, th I feel like I see that more often. It can be focal as well, but this is a case of just diffuse adenomyosis where the endometrium invades the myometrium and you get this funny expanded um, uh, myometrium like this. Lots of times you see little cystic areas within the um, myometrium. In this case, I think they're just blurred out by a little bit of motion here. And so that's one thing, just a prominent diffuse form of adenomyosis, which is in the spectrum of endometriosis. The endometrial lining again goes into the myometrium and causes this. And this patient also has some other manifestations of endometriosis. So if we look back here, we see these areas of darkness. This is again a T2-weighted sequence. Also these areas of brightness here, cystic components. And here's a dark area, dark area here as well. This is not fat suppressed. So when we see cysts that are really dark on T2, we think about high protein content. And with this adenomyosis, you think about chocolate cysts or endometriomas. So I believe this is what this is, multiple endometriomas. And this patient with endometriosis, it looks like. So this is the left over here. You can see this area of darkness within it, some cystic changes. We see the other areas of darkness here and here. And these are just these uh, proteinaceous complex chocolate cysts here associated with endometriosis. This is the T2 non-fat sat. Here's one, here's another one here. Here's the T2 sequence with fat sat. You can see them here. Now here is the T1 weighted sequence. You can see how they're bright on the T1 weighted sequence. There are a few other ones. Here's one over here. This is the thing that looks really dark. And here's two. I think we have another one over here. This patient also had some distended pelvic veins here. It could go along with a pelvic congestion syndrome. You can also see them on the axial sequence here, especially on the right side. They, come up, they show up pretty well. So this is, again, a case of adenomyosis, really prominent diffuse form associated with other manifestations of endometriosis, endometriosis these endometriomas, and uh, fluid. And that's it. So thank you very much.